today we are doing a video of how to do bungee cord with MC Hosting Not Pro. If you guys don't use MC Pro Hosting, Minecraft Hosting Not Pro, then uh, you can skip later on. The time will be on, but uh, I'm going to show you guys later on in the video how to use the config. So if you're not using uh, this host, then you can skip forward. The time will be on the screen, so you can skip forward to that. But if you're uh, using uh, Minecraft Hosting Not Pro, then I'm going to show you guys how to upload Bungie Cord and how to install that. So first off, I'm going to hop into my Bungie Cord. So basically, it's going to be a custom jar. So you want to enter all this stuff into your uh, Win as Win CP or FileZilla. I'm using File FileZilla. Oops, FileZilla, and uh, we'll open this up. And so. I just put it for the default uh, you can see right here let me go over here real quick um, you can see right here I'm just using the vanilla 1.8 because uh, you have to op upload it like a custom dot jar so the easiest way I found out uh, is just to upload bungee cord right here and uh, it might take a while but you upload it uh, this will be a link in the description so you guys can go download that or you can go on the spigot spigot forums and download it for yourself this is for 1.8 all of 1.8 uh, so you can either download it for me a uh, link will be in the description um, it's no viruses or nothing because I wouldn't do that to you guys so you can go download that or yeah that's probably the easiest way so uh, we'll fin wait for this to finish and uh, see you guys when you come back here we are back we have uploaded this so the easiest way I found out uh, on here to upload this so basically what you want to do is copy this and rename that the exact same thing <laughs> remember which ones which so of course yes we want to continue so as you see this is the bigger file so it's uploaded that so this is actually the bungee.jar um, but if you look in here um, that's that's because like that's the easiest way because um, it's like the shortest thing so <laughs> you can upload that or you can like um, do it it will like find out uh, what's like uploaded but I found this is the easiest way so make sure you change uh, save changes and um, we should be good to go so we'll start this bad boy up and wait for it to load and as you see it's loading and uh, by the way bungee cord barely takes any RAM to run just because it's a singular server so uh, let's go into council over here and see what has happened so yeah here we go we have got the bungee cord uh, council running so as you see it could not buy a local host so uh, I'm just gonna restart it again just make sure everything loads properly and then we'll dive into config and I'm gonna show you guys how to set up bungee cord properly um, so yeah, we'll wait for it. Uh, this is pretty quick. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day, a wonderful day. Um, yeah, I hope you guys had a good Halloween as well. So that's kind of cool. So uh, yeah, so here we go. This is finished loading. So we're going to hop into FTP. So when you come in here, this is uh, your config. And this is where all the stuff goes down. All right, so I'm going to zoom in for you guys so you can see a little bit. Whoa. <laughs> oh. That's a little bit too much. We'll uh, go back out. There we go. There we go. All right. So here we go. We got groups, and uh, this is where you're going to put your name. So my name is Striker Plays. So I'm gonna put it in right here. And oops, not right there. <laughs> that, that's admin right here, bro. Right here. This one. You're gonna put it in here. Because admin, as you see right here, you have the alert and then you have reload and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys, uh, this will be probably next week tutorial about how to install Bungie plugins. Because it's different than from regular plugins. Uh, so that will probably be next week's tutorial. And so first off, um, let's drive right in. So max players, that's pretty simple. Uh, you can change it to like a thousand or whatever. So we'll put it at like a thousand. And then your fallback server. Fallback server means that when p when players first join if the hub is not open then it'll send them to this server so say you have your lobby or your hub uh, it's down at the moment but you have like a faction server that's open so when people try to join your hub it will just send them straight to the factions and say that the default uh, server is down so it's sending you to the, uh, other factions so the faction server so that's just the fallback server so uh, what we're going to do uh, we'll name that uh, we'll name hmm, we'll do it factions I guess sure why not 
and then the host. All right, this is what's kind of tricky. The host is the server, like the IP address that you're running Bungie on. So, for example, let me save this real quick. For example, this is the host that I'm running Bungie on. So, I'm going to open that up and we'll copy and paste this. So, make sure it, this is the same IP as the server that you're running Bungie Cord on. Um, I did not explain earlier in the video, but let me explain this now. Uh, when you're running Bungie Cord or a network, like the minimum you need is about three servers. Here's why one, to run the Bungie Cord itself. Uh, because you can't run anything else on one server except for bungee cord. You definitely need bungee cord. Next, you have your hub. That is like every every person I'm sure knows. Like if you go on a big server, there's always a hub that you join. Uh, it's optional, I guess. Um, because I'm planning to do a network up here, opening it probably in a few months. I'm not sure if I'll have a hub or not. It just depends. But it's kind of optional but a lot of people like it because you can put like gadgets and stuff in the hub for donators and stuff so it's just like kind of cool option and that's where you have like your server selector and stuff and then of course then the third server is the server that people are actually going to play on so for example for this tutorial I'm just going to have a faction server that uh, you join you can have a, uh, the hub factions and bungee cord so that's that's the minimum so uh, and this is bind local address. So when the most of the stuff when it's default loaded, uh, you can leave mainly. So bind local address basically is binding the address that the bungee cord is on, I believe. And then ping pass through, uh, you can leave that default. Uh, basically, it just transfers this transfers the ping throughout the servers. And then tabless global ping, uh, that's pretty easy. Like yeah, so. Um, the default server. So what you want in your default server, I'm just going to put hub. Some people like lobby. A forced host, you can just like leave. You, you don't even have to worry about that. That's kind of fine. And then the tab size is when you like say who is online if tab is 60. So yeah, forced default server. So if you want people to join like your hub automatically, and then you put true. So uh, automatically people will join my default server, which is the hub. Alright, so the MOTD of that, you can uh, change uh, this to, let's see, um, do N5 hub. <laughs> I don't know what you want to do. So, uh, query enabled, if you want to enable it or not, and then timeout, and then connection throttle. Right here, I read up on this, it doesn't necessarily have to be negative one. Uh, that that is for when you're adding servers to Bungie Cord, but for right now, I'll just put it negative one. I read that you don't necessarily have to have it, but uh, and yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and then IP four. All right, this is a thing that personally I got confused on so bad. <laughs> so you want to change this to true, and I will explain later uh, why. And then of course, if you want your uh, Bungie cord to be online or offline mode uh, basically if like cracked users can join and stuff so uh, if you don't want if you want premium players only then just put this to true alright so that's good next what we're gonna do is hop in wow I'll zoom out so we're gonna hop in uh, spigot so the other servers that you have connecting connected to your bungee uh, it has to be spigot it can't be bucket it has to be spigot so uh, of course, uh, change your offline mode. So uh, it has to be offline. Your server has to be offline mode for the bungee to connect it. So make sure you do that. And it won't matter because if players try to join your server, uh, this is where the IP forward thingy comes in and it's very helpful. So make sure you save your changes on here. This is on the spigot. Uh, the spigot server, by the way, guys. Uh, make sure you understand that. I know this is super confusing, but I'm trying my best to explain it. So next, what you want to do, this will be adding servers. So open this back up. So uh, right here, servers, adding the server. So uh, here we go. We have, we want to add this. This will be our hub server. So make sure when you add it, what I do, just copy and paste is like the easiest thing. So here, server I want, I want the hub because up here, uh, I put hub as my default server, so make sure these servers match, whatever it's called. Make sure they match. 
And then, if you want it restricted, uh, basically, if you don't want other people to join, then you just change that true. But MLTD, you can like leave whatever. So this is my hub. So this is my uh, first server that I'm adding. So make sure you add it right here, and it has to be the IP. So yeah, pretty simple. So I'm gonna save that real quick. And then next, what you want to do, come into the Spigot YML. In here, you're going to change right here bungee cord to true. This is where the IP forward comes in. When I had my network up, like if I banned an IP, it banned every single person on the server. Like if, like even I was banned when uh, I didn't change the bungee cord uh, IP forward to true. So if you're having that trouble, make sure you change uh, in your spigot.1ml use bungee cord to true. And also, uh, I'll point out a pointer when you're using Bycraft, uh, make sure you set um, your it, when you're setting up Bycraft, so it will ask you if you want to put Bycraft uh, online mode, offline mode. Make sure you put it offline mode because your server is running offline mode, even though it's connected to Bungie, which makes it online mode. But I'm sorry, it's super confusing. But <laughs> once you get used to it, you'll get used to it. All right. So here we go. Next, if you got, guys didn't see, uh, so make sure um, on your Spigot server. That you're running, make sure you go into your spigot YML, use bungee cord to true, and then next, what you're coming into is your bucket YML. So, in here, what you're going to do is uh, change your connection throttle to negative one. This allows for players uh, from the from your bungee cord to connect to all different servers. Make sure uh, this is negative one for sure. Make sure you, you do that. So, that's it when you're running your bungee cord. Uh, three things make sure offline mode your bungee cord is offline mode make sure you have um, and the spigot YML right here make sure you have it to use bungee cord and then third is in your bucket YML and make sure it set the connection throughout to negative one so that's all for adding servers as you see it's added I'm going to uh, hop in Minecraft real quick. And this is my other server that I'll be adding. So this is the faction server. So I'm going to just paste that real quick right here. And then so I remember. And then we'll copy and paste this. Uh, it's very um, easy. Oops. Hold on. I need, <laughs> need to put that back. Oh, nope. That's not. There we go. Is that? Yeah. There we go. That's lined up. And then we'll change this uh, to this right here. Remove that. And then just copy this in here. There we go. Remove this. There we go. So this is the next one. And then make sure this matches, as you see, factions. So you can either like capitalize it, factions, if you want, or you can leave it lowercase. I'm gonna capitalize it just because. And then change that to hub. And then change this to factions. All right. So there we go. That's how you add servers. So we'll save that. Reload that bad boy, and then make sure we save this as well. So we'll uh, restart that, and we'll wait. And then, so I will be back when it's all ready to go. We are back, and we have successfully reloaded our config and everything. So I'm gonna hop into Bungie Core really con config really fast. So it is upside down. Uh, so when you when I did it before. Um, it was like the other way around, but it's still basically the exact same thing. So don't like freak out if you like see it upside down or something from the earlier video. But it's basically the exact same thing. Everything is still the same. Uh, so make sure you do all this, and I will show you uh, about the groups and plugin in the next tutorials. But make sure you save that, and then uh, the server that you're running the bungee cord on right here. So make sure you copy this into your uh, Minecraft server list so we're gonna plop that in here as you see uh, I did it already twice one nine okay <laughs> so yeah this is uh, just another bungee cord force toast so uh, what you can do uh, as you see uh, right here there are the hubs so you can like change this uh, to whatever you want or yeah change it to whatever you want uh, so we'll uh, join the server and show you guys how it looks <laughs> spawn in the ground hey that's pretty cool so this is the hub server guys this is the hub server what I mean by that is 
see uh, this uh, this bigot server that we selected as the hub so this is the hub server and as you see I have logged in and this is a server your uh, hub server this is the one that you can install plugins and everything for like the hub gadgets and everything and the server selector stuff like that and when you do slash server as you see right here and let me open up my chat a little bigger so you guys can see 100% boom there we go alright so here we go you may connect to the following servers hub and faction so as you see there's one player so this is my hub uh, right here so this is when players first join and then uh, they can get like a uh, compass and then like oops oh yeah I don't have any plugins installed <laughs> so I don't have any plugins installed as you see oops if I can type right there we go plugin zero so this is the hub server so you can install all sorts of plugins group manager and stuff like that and essentials if you want them to have like fly whatever and all the good fun plugins um, on my hub server I had like uh, uh, echo pets and uh, stuff like that so you can install all that great stuff so uh, you can do slash server factions and this will teleport you to the faction server and so here we go this is the faction server boom here we are and I will put that so yeah this is uh, the faction server so when you do slash server again um, then it will you can teleport back to the hub so this is about all for uh, the bungee cord um, like config and everything. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, post in the comments because I know this is super confusing. I had to watch and read like a whole bunch of stuff about bungee cord. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, be sure to smack down uh, those comments down in the description. I mean, not description, in the comment section. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. And uh, next video will be about bungee cord plugins. So if this guy's, uh, if this video helped you, be sure to smack that like button and to post any comments that you have. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped. Uh, I know it might might have been confusing sometimes, but just uh, post down in there if you have any questions, and I will reply to them as soon as possible as I read them. So yeah, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next.